Let's see what is external gear pump. It's quite simple in the operation. You might be knowing what is external gear pump. Here we are using a two externally meshed spur gears. This is first type of spur gear and this is second spur gear. They are in mesh at the center here. So they are in contact with each other. This hatching line what we observe that is the casing for the pump and this particular pipeline is a suction pipeline and this is what discharge pipeline so the water can be sucked from this or oil or any kind of liquid can be sucked from this and high pressurized liquid can be available at the output so simply there are three to four part first part is a casing second part is this this particular gear next is this gear this is uh, shafts this, to this particular shaft we can give a mechanical energy as input now here in this case it's not necessary to give mechanical energy to both shaft if you are giving energy to only one shaft that is also sufficient so if i am giving mechanical energy to this one this particular spur gear will rotate and this spur gear is in mesh with another spur gear and that's why another spur gear will also start rotating hence it's not necessary to give mechanical energy to both if you are giving mechanical energy to only one shaft that is also sufficient so the reservoir side will be connected here and actuator side will be connected here when we start now let's see the working when we start to giving a mechanical energy to this particular the both spur gear will start rotating when spur gear start rotating then the air which is present on this particular zone that will get that will get suck or that will get move to the discharge side through the gap which is present between the two tooths and the casing so if you observe here very carefully there is a gap between a two tooth and the casing this particular gap will be initially filled by the gases or the air which is present here that air will be get removed first of all and get discharged so if when complete air is get removed then what happen vacuum will be generated you are knowing vacuum means pressure below the atmosphere because of this vacuum the fluid which is present or oil which is present to the suction side that will be get sucked and now the space between a two tooth and casing will be occupied by the oil and this oil will be get uh, will be coming on this side and that will be get discharged now the oil will be moving forward through the both spur gear so this spur gear and this spur gear both spur gear this particular gap will be moving and it will be get discharged at the output so this is what a simple working of external gear pump there are some stages i will show you this particular figure it will be more clear with this let's consider that this blue color is the fluid oil and these are two gears spur gear which is uh, rotating by the mechanical energy and the casing is also shown and this is a discharge side so when this is rotating the space between the two gears and the casing will be occupied by the oil and it will be moved forward here you can see that the oil blue color which is present here that has moved forward up to this one again when it get rotated at the output will get the oil so these are stage which are these are stages through which oil will be moving now this animation is fantastic one where we can observe very carefully very clearly that the hydraulic oil is moving outward now let's consider this bubble are nothing but the oil if you concentrate on any one bubble the bubble will be get trapped between a two tooth and it will be moved forward let's concentrate on this particular bubble now where this bubble goes you can see that this bubble is moving continuously forward and then finally this bubble after pressurizing this will be moving out so likewise bubble is nothing but a hydraulic oil that hydraulic oil will get occupied between a two gears and the casing and hence it can be discharged out here also you can see that some of the hydraulic oil or bubble are trapped between two tooth and casing and that will come here and it will be moving out with so pressurized liquid will be available here as the gears are giving a mechanical impart mechanical energy to the hydraulic oil and that's why uh, high pressure hydraulic energy will be available with this particular oil now let's see the what are the advantages of this gear pump the gear pump we can go with very high speed the pressure available at the output is very high no overhung bearing load so on the bearing load will not come in this particular case relatively quiet operation the noise created will be very less with the gear type of pump design accommodation accommodates wide variety of materials so material which can be used for this particular kind of the pump may be of wide variety okay disadvantage are for bushing in a liquid area so 
number of bushing required is more next no solids allowed so if oil contains some, uh, some kind of the solids dirt dust etc that is not allowed because this particular solid may go into the casing and it may trap between the some of the tooth etc and the damage of the pump may achieve fixed end clearance so end clearance which is clearance between the gear and the casing that particular clearance we require to be fixed if any disturbance occur in that particular clearance then it may not work now what are the application of this there is a lot of application as far as gear is concerned the various fuel oils and lube oils can use this particular gear pump chemical mixing and blending and double pump is used industrial and mobile hydraulic applications such kind of pumps are used and low volume transfer or application so wherever the volume of fluid to be transmitted is very less then we can go with this particular gear pump thank you very much for listening